So, uh, 16 valve project update. Um, here's our very clean 16 valve head. Um, I don't know if the last time you saw it, but it certainly wasn't that clean. Um, so, all the ports being cleaned out. Well, there's still a bit of scum in there, but I think that's just residual uh, from me handling it. Um, been skimmed, and all the valves now have been appropriately uh, seated in. So, um, that's a lot of ums, I apologise. Our next stage is to fit all the valves in with the valve springs. Um, what I've been doing in the meantime, which is why a bit of a, a late update, is there's a big box over there and that's full of all the other auxiliary parts that kind of go on it, the brackets and the, the power steering pump and the starter and all that, all being cleaned up. And the inlet, that was just gross. That's been cleaned up and given a lick of paint, really. Um, cams and all the other bits. Um, done. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to make a little setup in a in a moment, um, and that little setup is going to allow us to fit the valve springs because you can kind of see the shape of the head and the little tiny cutouts we've got here. Um, it's very difficult to get a spring compressor in. Um, in fact, almost pretty much impossible without sort of customizing at all. So I have customized something, and we're going to see if we can make it quite an easy job for me because I'm lazy. Um, before we do that, we'll need to put all the valve stem seals in obviously, um, and then we'll start lining up these valves. That's what a stock spring versus an uprated spring looks like, uh, as you can see. They sort of on first look kind of look similar. Um, it's got yellow paint on it. <laughs> yeah, these are 45 pound springs. These are 75, uh, if I remember correctly. That's what I ordered. And you can kind of see the, the extra thickness in the coil. Um, it doesn't take much. But uh, these stock ones you can kind of squeeze in your hand, don't lose that, and these uprated ones you kind of, you can only just kind of get moving, but these you can kind of mess around with. And these are the main issues. Anyone that says they can do high power on these over 200 horsepower with these stock valve springs is lying, um, in my opinion. Let's see what we can do with them. So now the tricky bit is fitting them in there. So let's uh, set something up to see if I can make it easier for myself. So uh, here's my little setup. Yes, I did one to practice before I showed you. Uh, the key to this little setup is this, which is a rather butchered 15mm uh, socket. Very old camisar. Probably my dad's old set. Sorry, Dad. Oh well. Um, so as you can see, it's taken a fair old chunk off that so that it sits in there. I did have a bigger socket, but as you can see, the space to get the sockets in here because the cutout here um, is very small so nothing bigger than a 15 mil um, and then when the press comes down it's not a big press this as you can imagine it just pushes it down on there which gives you the space to get the collets in so um, let me set up a second one and I can show you that nice little light with magnetic thank you very much eBay um, actually best buy I've had in months that is 15 quid it's awesome anyway so that's a little trick to that um, another little tricks but I have shown this before you get a little bit of grease on the end of your screwdriver and that holds the collet on the end of the screwdriver then you can flick it in and it leaves a little bit of grease in there to uh, get things started uh, as you noticed I've put the valves in slipped them in again with a little bit of oil because uh, you can kind of well, you can hurt those seals putting the valves in um, there's other ways but there we go and valve stem seals go in and they go in with a nice ping when you knock them in again hit the link up there somewhere I'm sure I'll put the um, the build for the 2.1 in each of these videos because that goes into a bit more detail so let's just set up and I'll show you how it goes and then we'll time-lapse it okay so I've kind of set it up not for ease of use but hopefully ease of you being able to see what's happening here so here's our spring with the top on it I'll just sit over there like that then we bring our socket in, which I just mentioned, hopefully, on the previous video, if I've edited this correctly. And that fits just over the top like that. Now you need to get this as square as possible. And as you can see, a piece of wood and a piece of cardboard just underneath the head, just to protect the head as, as much as possible. Now I have seen other chaps use um, pillar drill for this, which again, not a bad call. Hmm, that's not quite, as you see, that's not quite squared up right. <laughs> and that caught the edge of the valve uh, seat there. Uh, it's 
still not happy with that. You want to make sure you're happy and square, and otherwise collets won't go. Ah, there we go. Can you see the difference? Hopefully you saw that, where the valve stem itself in there. Now, I wouldn't recommend at all getting your fingers in there. So, screwdriver, that's just a little bit of grease holding it on the end, because the magnetic side of this has gone a long time ago. And I'm trying not to get too close to get in the way of the camera, which isn't actually helping the process of doing it. As you can see, it's not the easiest of jobs. Um, and I was thinking I could go further with the with the socket. Here we go. Uh, and cut more off the socket, but my concern if I do that is that the socket will split or spread then with all that force on the spring it'll go ping into my eye okay so once you're happy that they're seated in there and you can quite see that um, I might try and zoom the video a little bit on editing chin release all good noises there we go and she's seated and that's two down 14 to go. Right, time lapse time, I think. Just stuff that for a joke for doing commentary on 14 more identical difficult springs. Right, there we go. Simple as that. I'm going to edit a lot of that out. <laughs>
bolts are in now um, we had a little moment I heard some bad noises and I wasn't very well I wasn't liking the bad noises and then um, this happened and I thought I'd seriously snap something bad and then realized it was a socket just cheap nasty socket it's because they're 16 point and I've got many strong 16 points so uh, it's if anyone's wondering it's 5 8 or 16 mil so I went raiding old box and found another one how long that would last I don't know but uh, they're in, 100 foot pounds across. Heads on. Let's get with the real work. Let's get building manifolds and turbos and stuff. Bah. Hello. 